Hi there, welcome to part two of Toolkit CMA. All right, where we left off from last video is quite simply, we had um, looked to make a presentation. We'd got all the way through to selecting properties and we'd selected the ones we'd actually pulled into the Toolkit CMA, um, the actual comps we'd like to use. And I'm just gonna check this box right here to take them all in. And we simply mark next. All right, I really don't dwell too much on this. Um, if you'd like to bring across certain fields so you can do some adjustments, then by all means do so. Otherwise, the default range right here, address, style, beds, bathrooms, year built, sold, and list price is uh, all I actually use. But if you'd like to make an adjustment, for an example, uh, of a fireplace, just highlight it, bring it across, and this will be included in the analysis. If you'd like to take something away, well, just highlight and, well, in this case, move it back. Pretty simple stuff. All right, clicking on next. Subject property. Okay, please uh, take a look at the information, find the information about the subject property. You're gonna go around and see that evening. All will become apparent just in a wee while. But quite simply, if you don't fill this information in, it's gonna look uh, pretty ragged uh, whenever you come to show their property stacked up against some of the competition. Uh, very easy to do as well is actually on one of the cover sheets is simply choose a picture of the home that you're going to go around and see which would this would mean actually you might have to go and do something uh, the equivalent of a drive-by sheeting take a picture so you can upload it for your presentation once you're happy with uh, filling in some of these features right here then click the, quickly move on to next all right adjustments very subjective topic so this, imagine, this is our um, subject property, the home that we're looking to try and win as a listing and try and help somebody sell. Um, well, quite simply, if that's, oh, this is a real good one here. All of the comps are all uh, brick, veneer, partial. Let's just imagine our house was a vinyl and we'd have to make some adjustments. Well, in this case, um, brick, veneer, vinyl, uh, sorry, brick, veneer versus vinyl, I was working on $5,000 per side. Let's imagine there's only one side of brick to this uh, partial brick veneer home. And I would have to make an adjustment down, take away to help give me a comparable price for my vinyl. So I would simply just put the minus sign here and put $5,000. Same here, minus 5,000, minus 5,000. Once I click off of those, uh, you can see the price change. This is the actual price sold, but this is the actual adjusted price to help me with my uh, subject property right here. Similarly, if my home was old brick and these were old vinyl, well, you would obviously then just take, uh, take out the actual uh, the minus sign and just put in, uh, not even have to put the plus in, but uh, just put the actual figure in to make an adjustment. And you will see, that uh, was once I click off of those, again, that is the actual sold price data from MLS. This is the adjusted price here, the 5,000 additional, if you can just use your imagination and think this was vinyl and my subject property was brick. Once you're happy, just move on. Recommend a uh, list price range. As I said, if you had narrowed your boundaries down, in, uh, if you remember me recalling from the first video, um, I rounded my uh, dollars up to the next hundred. You can do it to the next thousand, but one and a half percent spread is more than ample to uh, let a seller decide that uh, where they'd like their home to be listed at. Pricing strategy: Please put your ranges in here, but also please take a look at these uh, general rules, local market observations, and you know, please uh, just make your own adjustments right here as well. Sell a net sheet. If you know enough information, completely customizable. Take some of these uh, features out, add some features in, put some amounts in, and you have a seller net sheet. Marketing plan of action. Again, customizable. Um, week one here is pretty universal across the whole country. If you leave it 
uh, alone and just uh, present this, then you're uh, holding yourself open for open homes, uh, open houses on Sundays. So please adjust this accordingly. Create the presentation. All right, we've left an awful lot of pages in there, so this may take just a small while to create. And we'll let it do its thing. If you have any questions on this at all, please don't hesitate to either give me a call uh, or email me, text me. I'd be more than happy to walk you through any part of the Toolkit CMA uh, software program. Okay, now it's creating it in PDF. An actual fact, this is exactly where I would save it on my computer should I like it. If you've uh, been careful enough, it should be a one-time uh, make. If not, you can always go back to the beginning of course and um, just go through it one more time. And we're almost there. And here we go. Let me just uh, narrow this down just a little. And here's the very, very quick CMA that we put together. Uh, just the one cover letter right there, cover sheet should I say. Inside cover letter with my information, cover letter for the client, and then these are all the slides that we left in the presentation itself. I'll scroll through these because I actually want to get to the CMA portion just to show you uh, what we did when we pulled those particular comps in, which were real life working comps actually. There we go, so the start of the CMA itself, you can see it looks a little threadbare if you don't fill in the information. And if you went round to the property and took a picture, then you'll do yourself a disservice if you don't fill in some of these fields. CMA. Um, at the time I pulled some of those comps in, some of them were active, but I guess some of them were already sold. So recently sold, off the market. There's a, a map right here uh, of those properties. There's another style of map, satellite view. Again, completely customizable. You choose the map you'd like, if any. So it will pull in comps looking like this, in this kind of format, all the way through to this level of detail right here, depending on who you're um, working with. And just scroll further through, off the market, recently sold, recently sold. This is pretty interesting, some people uh, like this format, but wanted the additional pictures pulled in from MLS. Well, in this case, you can, especially uh, if you've got some very uh, challenging or fastidious sellers, and they need to see uh, what somebody else's kitchen looks like versus their own to help them determine price. This will help you enormously, in my opinion. And so on, and so on, and so on. I'll skip right through here till we get to the analysis. Almost there. Almost there. Okay, so we got to the analysis itself. Okay, as I said, the fields, if you don't fill them in, they're going to look a little, little threadbare. And there is an adjustments page right here. If you remember, we uh, changed um, the, uh, the comps. We made an adjustment $5,000 $5, upwards in this case, thinking this was vinyl and our uh, subject property was brick. And what pops out is some uh, uh, graphs for statistic analysis and our price range ultimately where we were, would let the sellers know this is what the market think we, we say is that uh, your house would bear as, as far as a price point. Sellers net, marketing plan of action, your resume, if you leave it in, your references. But ultimately, in the end, list with me and my firm because we are wonderful. And that concludes the, uh, well, this portion anyway, of the PDF. I would certainly save that on my laptop for further use. But when we get back to the actual summary here, uh, I can view it all over again, but there again, what's the point? I've already done that. I will just save the presentation. And it'll save it with the first name and last name of the potential clients. And all I will do is just hit save might take it just a few minutes to do that again given all the pages that we left in there and all the information and all the listings. It's well worth noting even at this point while it's uh, saving the presentation uh, which by the way will save in 90 days 
that um, they have some really good uh, online um, uh, customer support. I've used them before in the past. Plenty of other agents have used them uh, without me even prompting and they've told me they do a really, really good job. They're there for you uh, as well as I am as well. Okay, that might just take just a, a little while to save, but it will be right there at the presentation page and um, you should see it. Here we go. Let's just go home and I'll click on the presentations. There we go. That's the date I made it. 1010. Today is 1010 at 1130. Uh, okay, guys. Well, um, happy hunting with the listing toolkit presentation. I hope you win many listings. And again, any questions, give me a shout.